I made a video the other day where I went through and talked a little bit how I pulled together this, uh, the, my powder coating booth right here, this version 2.0. So uh, I'll put a link to that video here. But right after I did that, I also went ahead and powder coated. You can kind of see the piece in there. I just hung it in there just for a reference point. That's already been in the oven and I completed it. But this that's the one that I coated the other day. And I just wanted to do a kind of a real quick intro here. And then uh, next I'll just kind of go over and pull that other video in here. And um, you can kind of see the powder coating process and what I use for that. All right, I turned the fan on in the back, the little box fan I told you about. It's behind there. I got the piece hanging there. I did a quick spritz in the sandblasting cabinet and I <clears throat> and I aired it off just to make sure there were no crystals on it or anything. I find that even after a couple of hours or especially a couple of days, which this one was sitting out, that they can start to form a little tarnish. And if you touch it with your fingers after sandblasting, it can actually tarnish, I don't know if I'd call it rust, but I see a little discoloration where my fingers have touched it or Again, if it's been a couple of days that um, the surface doesn't look quite as clean, if you do a real quick spritz on it uh, with the sandblasting cabinet, then you can actually tell it gets a little bit more shinier, that kind of gray, dull coat. So it's pretty easy to see when it's clean. I like it to be really, really clean. So I try to get every little speck of paint or remaining powder coat that's on there. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and blast this. I got the light set up. Lots of bright light here. It's pretty enclosed, so we're going to give this a try. Remember, safety first. Put on your respirator. Just be nice and slow and methodical about it. I find if I just kind of take my time, you press the button, make sure you do not press the button and touch any of the metal there because it will shock you. So, and then just, I like to go around and just give it a little twirl, get a different angle. Make sure each surface is covered. Um, I mean, you'll get a feel for it, but I, I, maybe I put it on too thick, I don't know, but I, I've only once seen a tiny thin spot so I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of getting it on just the right thickness. Also, there are a lot of different powder coating guns out there. The, the uh, Eastwood here, I think it's great. Um, I saw a reference and read references to foot pedal turned on ones versus the hand button. And, um, and just from the logistics, if I'm moving around and stuff like that, I think the foot pedal would be very hard to use. So I very much prefer this. This also allows me to keep some control over knowing to take my thumb off before I touch anything on there. So I try to be really careful about that because I definitely don't want to get shocked.
So I think that's pretty good. Now you can see, I see a little piece of lint that got there, a little thing there. This light does a nice job and I got a little dust particle right there. Um, let me see if I can't blow them off. A little bit too much. That's okay. I guess I need a gentler touch with that. And that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. I think the oven is ready. So you know at the end there I talked about and I kind of blew some air on the little spot there that had a little kind of crystal that I was seeing in there. And uh, I made a big old empty spot and I had to reshoot that. Sorry, my back was a little bit in the way. Looking back, I was like I stepped right in front of the camera. But anyways, I only spent a couple seconds, you can probably tell by looking at that other that uh, first part of this video, that I only spent a couple of seconds spraying that little area. And, um, you know, it's interesting because it turns out that that was actually not enough. Um, I, I was kind of distracted. I thought maybe it wasn't quite good but then I was just kind of quickly trying to get through that since it was a spot but you can kind of see here in the light you can see that rounded area here let me I can maybe I can get this up on here if it'll stand up by itself there we go you can see that spot that's the exact spot that I blew the air on so tip do not use shop air to blow on any of your pieces because it's going to blow the powder right off of it and I had mentioned in that other video, you probably don't want to blow on it too much, but then you probably saw me do that in the video, just trying to real quick puffs. You don't want to get, you know, you don't want to be breathing a lot of um, humid air all over it and get that into the powder. Um, I thought kind of after the fact that I probably should use something like a turkey baster where you can just kind of give it a little, little poof to try to dust off any lint that may be in the air that may have fallen on there are any kind of crystals left from the blasting, anything like that. But anyway, you can kind of see that little spot right there. It's barely noticeable. Again, this piece is going on the Jeep there. This is the bracket under the driver's side seat. Um, there's really no chance that you're going to be able to see it, so I'm not too worried about it. But that's definitely an interesting uh, point just to think about in terms of how much powder you're putting on. If you don't have like a little mill gauge to know how thick you're actually shooting it, you're basically just going on after the fact, looking at the oven, what comes out of the oven, and is it, are you getting the right coverage? And I have generally always had really good coverage. This was a, a rare exception in terms of not getting enough powder on there. So I think my process has been pretty good so far. Again, I don't generally see any light spots but this one was definitely, like I said, I just, you saw me blow it right off there and I had to restart over again on that little area, but I definitely did not spend enough time putting enough coating on it. I just did a real quick spray on it. 
I got coverage and then I just kind of moved on and got distracted with something else. So kind of a good learning point.